Okay, so I recently got a Zotac GeForce GTX 1080 Ti Amp Extreme. It was working great until I tried to do some Blender on it, and then CUDA error. A fresh install of Ubuntu just made everything really derp. So after hours of conducting extensive research and sophisticated troubleshooting techniques, I have solved my problem and created this video on how to get your 1080 Ti, and probably some other cards too, working with CUDA on Ubuntu. So let's begin. So I'm going to do a fresh install of Ubuntu just so we're all on the same page and nothing's going on besides what I'm doing in the video. One thing to note is that the native Linux drivers don't support your 1080 Ti, so press E on the grub entry before you're booting. And then go to right before where it says quiet and splash and type in no mode set, all one word. And that, basically what that tells it is to use the generic driver that supports all cards. Press F10 to boot. It's going to be in 1024 by 768, but you're going to have an image, so that's good. I regret to inform you that most of this video is going to be in 1026 or whatever, that low resolution. I'm going to go through the process pretty fast because if you don't know how to install Ubuntu, this is probably not the right video for you to be watching. And yeah just kind of a normal installation at the moment. So again, go into your E on the grub entry and type in no mode set. If you don't do that, it's just going to be like a black screen when you boot or maybe a purple screen. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move this launcher to the bottom because the side launcher just triggers me. And um, now I'm going to remove some of these annoying unnecessary icons. And finally, run a quick update upgrade combination. So we've got the latest packages. So now we're going to open up Firefox. And I have all of these links in the description. You're going to want to go to the CUDA installation guide. CUDA toolkit installation guide. And Ubuntu 16.04 satisfies all of these pre-installation dependencies, but I'm going to run all these commands just to be extra safe, and maybe if you're on another distro, you'd like to see me run them. This is just checking to make sure we have the proper kernel, kernel headings, and a supported graphics card. This command will install the kernel headers if they are not already installed, but they are, so it won't really do much. So next, we're going to actually download the CUDA toolkit. Make sure you click on the right selections for your computer, and once you get to here, choose Run File. Now, it's really big. It's like 1.4 gigabytes, so yeah, that's going to take a while. But once it's done, or while it's downloading, you can come back to the guide. And what we need to do is remove the Nouveau drivers. They're installed by default. They're like open source, kind of the default used for NVIDIA cards. But the main proprietary NVIDIA driver can't be installed with Nouveau running. So what we've got to do is we've got to use these instructions to disable Nuvo so it doesn't start when the computer starts. So first of all, we've got to open up Nautilus, the file manager is root, and go into etc modprobe.d. And now we're going to create a new file called blacklist-nuvo.conf. I'm just using an existing one because it's hard to create a new file. There's like not that entry on the menu. So once we rename that, I'm just going to open it up and remove everything in it because this is supposed to be a new file. And now just copy those contents into the file. Save. Don't forget to save. That's important. And the next thing we're going to do is whatever that thing is. Something that I don't know. Just do it. It worked for me. And then lastly, we need to restart. So 
again, don't forget this no mode set thing. You need to do it every time you start until the NVIDIA drivers are installed. Uh, even though we disabled Nuvo, the graphics will still work. So I guess that's weird. So go into a terminal, just like a full screen terminal by pressing Alt F4. And now we're going to go into our downloads folder, which is where the run file CUDA toolkit installer is stored. So we're going to run that using sudo. And it's going to spit out a whole bunch of stuff. Just pretend to read the license agreement. You can actually press space to like jump through the license agreement really fast and then accept, of course. And we do not want to install the driver. So do no there because the driver version that comes with this is not compatible with the 1080 Ti. You do want to install the toolkit. The default location is fine. You do want a symbolic link. As far as examples, this doesn't really matter. Probably no, because they're just like to show you how the CUDA toolkit works if you're like a programmer. So that's up to you. And then it's going to install and we're good to go. So go back to the GUI with Alt F7, log in. And now we're going to install the actual driver. What we did right there was just CUDA. So there's this really helpful guy. His name is Nelson Liu. And he has this blog that shows, this is where I got a lot of this procedure from, his blog. And he shows us what to do and also this PPA. Major thumbs up to all the people who are maintaining this PPA. Like, I don't even know where they got these drivers, but somehow, magically, they did it. And, and now we can just get the drivers by installing their PPA. So do the PPA and then do an update. And you can install the drivers from the command line with apt-get, but I prefer to do it through the driver manager because then you can like see all the versions that are available and choose the most recent one. So select the one you want, which is basically just the newest one. Go ahead, type in your password. And this may take quite a while. This took me, I think, like six minutes or something. I sped it up. But once that's done, you have to restart one last time. And this time you don't need to type in no mode set because the drivers have been installed. And we know they're installed because all three of my screens are now working at their full resolution. So that's pretty much it. Your graphics card is now ready for whatever you want to throw at it. Like these totally necessary window animations or this blender render. So now for some tips. First of all, if you're in Blender to enable your graphics card, it's not enabled by default. You need to go user preferences system and then select CUDA and make sure it's saved and everything. Next, you're gonna wanna make sure GPU compute is selected in the, in the dropdown menu there and put your, your tile size for rendering under performance at 256 because if you keep it on 64, your GPU will basically be the same speed as your CPU. Next, on the same download where we got the run file, there's a patch. You can install that if you want. You literally just like run it in terminal. I haven't found that it does anything, but it's up to you. And finally, if you're screen recording and you found annoying flickering, especially in like comp is related stuff, if you go to all of your screens under advanced and do forceful composition pipeline, it will fix that. I'd like to thank BeamTick for discovering this tip. I'll put a link to his video in the description, and there should be a little card that pops up with his channel on it at the end. And that concludes my tutorial. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope it helped you.